Do you know that CCP was built in 1969? It was a legacy left by our late national artist for architecture, Leandro Luxin. Good morning, um, I'm Sar Tala from the Cultural Center of the Philippines, the Division Chief of the Venue Management Division. My division is the one in charge in conducting all the building and theater tours of the Cultural Center. The tour is open uh, Tuesday to Saturday for people from all walks of life, students, um, foreigners, or any Filipino who just want to have a taste or see what we have here at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. The CCP houses three performance venues. We have the main theater or the Tanghalang Nicanor Abelardo, which of course you will see later on. This is the little theater or the Tanghalang Aurelio Tolentino. We have one experimental or studio theater we named after Huseng Batute. Also, we have an audiovisual room or the Tanghalang Manuel Conde. We also call it uh, the CCP Dream Theater. We have two galleries, this, this small gallery named after Fernando Amorsolo and the main gallery after Juan Luna. Not to be left out is the only museum here in the building. It's the Museo ng Kalinangang Pilipino. This is one of the very few museums in the Philippines that feature living traditions. This is Tanghalang Manuel Conde or the CCP Audiovisual Room. It can seat a total of 100 guests. We um, feature films from uh, local and foreign films. Oftentimes, it's for free. So if you're, of course, free, come, out, uh, come here and check out all our offerings. Come to the Tanghalang Aurelia Tolentino. Aurelia Tolentino is a great Filipino poet who lived during the, towards the end of the Spanish period and beginning of the American period. This theater can seat a total of 421 guests. It's a typical proscenium theater, very ideal for small productions like us, um, such as solo recitals, piano and voice, stage plays, and chamber orchestra. So this is the lobby of the Tanghalang Husing Batute, or the CCP Studio Theater, highlighted by this permanent exhibit, uh, wood carvings by the Paete woodworkers, after a painting by Carlos Botom Francisco entitled abuse of the Spanish authorities. So this is our experimental theater. Experimental because you can experiment any way you want depending on the requirements of your production. Also called as a black box because literally it's just a black box. The lower studio level can seat around 180 to 150 guests and the upper gallery as I've said can seat around 60 guests. So welcome to the CCP main theater lobby highlighted by the three chandeliers representing the three main islands of the Philippines, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Tanghali ni Canor Abilardo, or the CCP Main Theater, has four levels. Where we are right now is the orchestra section, which can seat 823 guests. And moving up to the second floor is the parterre box. The third floor and the fourth are the balcony sections. The President of the Republic of the Philippines, every time he or she graces any event here at the CCP, usually sits at the middle, which is parterre box 25 at the second floor. So this is the third floor hallway named after Guillermo Tolentino. This hallway is also a venue for changing exhibits. Right now on display are artworks uh, by UE alumni in celebration of their 40th year, the College of Fine Arts, UE Fine Arts. So this is the CCP timeline. Agos, or the flow of events since CCP was conceptualized by the former First Lady in 1965. Up to 2004 or 2005, developments, projects, uh, landmark events that have shaped Filipino people and of course the center itself. So this is Bulwagang Juan Luna, or the CCP main gallery. Um, this is also one changing exhibit area. So this is the CCP library, um, operating hours Tuesday to Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. So this is a very ideal place for students studying Philippine culture and other stuff. You can also get to see other um, audiovisual materials. You can watch um, plays, recorded events here for only 11 pesos per tape. So this is the CCP Museum or the Museo of Kalinangang Filipino. 
as I've said a while ago, this is one of the very few um, museums in the Philippines which still highlights living Philippine traditions. Our last spot is the CCP Small Gallery named after Fernando Amorsolo. Do you know that Fernando Amorsolo is the first ever national artist to be given the award in 1972? That ends our tour here at the Cultural Center of the Philippines, folks. Do visit us again one time here. You're always welcome to drop by. You'll see a lot, lot more facilities, exhibits, um, offerings here at the center. Not just the facilities, of course. Do come and watch our events. We have a lot of events. Check out our website and the calendar of events. Thank you for coming and we welcome you soon.